Yeah, you saw the title? We're gonna need a lot of coffee for today. So yeah, you guys saw the intro. Mm -hmm. So today I thought I would vlog, which if you guys are new, hi, welcome. I'm Desert Mermaid, Keisha. This channel is about me trying to have a life with chronic pain. If you're into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button because you're wicked awesome, mate. And I love you. So hi, welcome. Now we get the pleasantries out of the way. Um, so today, I am looking for a new doctor. Yeah, you guys, I saw the title. Um, I thought I'd walk today because um, I'm trying, like I talked in sushi. If you guys haven't seen Weekly Sushi, it's linked, linked. But um, I talked about how um, I'm ready to find a new doctor. Now, the last primary doctor I saw, I had a lot of issues trying to get prescriptions filled and they're prescriptions you can have withdraw symptoms from so and they're they were anti-anxiety meds so so yeah i will be looking for a new primary so i can get referred to see um i've been told that i really should be seeing a psychiatrist the last primary told me that which yeah they're not so with it so we'll find out but i'm finding a new primary because yeah I have to get referred to, to stuff because of the way my insurance is, so yeah. That's the part of my journey, and I'm hoping I can find someone close. Get my laptop out here. Try to find a doctor. <sighs> yeah, so that's what's on the agenda for today, that. And I wanted to try and get a video up. We shall see. Me and Philip here update you. Um, I think I found a doctor. Um, yeah, I um, spent some time on the computer and I found a doctor that was actually part of a, a group that um, does a, sorry, I'm trying to get Philip in here, that does like a, the online, um, like once you get established with the doctor, they'll um, do like a virtual appointments, which I kind of liked because, you know, it's really hard for me to get in. And they're real close to where I live right now, so. That's good. I'll have to, I took down all the info and it's Friday today, so I'm just going to wait and probably um, call the insurance up and do all that fun stuff on one day. But yeah, I'm just hanging out here. We had some lunch. Yeah, I was bad. I know you might see this in the background. You're like, Keisha, you're drinking? I'm like, no, it's Virgil's root beer. It's all gone now, but I love this Virgil root beer. Let me see if you can see it. I like the label. Let me show you. Oh, come on. There's the label. Do you see it? I like how it shows the dad serving like root beer to the kids. I'm like, yeah, get the one the, the one with the dad giving the root beer to the kids, Patrick, when he goes. I'm like, it's funny. I also like, I like root beer. We love root beer in this house. Like old-fashioned Cokes. I love carbonation. Um, I really like, there's this one, I call it dog root beer. But it's not really like dog for dogs. It's like... um. The money, part of the money for the proceeds, sorry, <laughs> there's Philip. Part of the proceeds uh, actually go to like a dog rescue, um, like a charity. So I like that, but uh, they only sell it at Whole Foods, which Whole Foods is kind of a little ways from, it's like a 15 minute drive from where I live. And um, this grocery store we go to by my house doesn't have the dog root beer. They only have Virgil's, so. I was drinking Virgil's. It's Friday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. Um, my shoulder and my my back has been hurting. And I've been feeling it in my foot, which I don't like. It's not as bad as I it could be, thank God. But it's not good. And then my shoulder's been bothering me a lot. I have a lot of shoulder issues. Um... Yeah, I am uh, one of those big-breasted women, like naturally big-breasted, and 
yeah, the, the, that's never a good thing. Natural big breasted always comes with like shoulder problems or back problems. So yeah, that's me. Hopefully one day I can get something done about that. But yeah, that's today. I'm just gonna try and stretch here on the floor. I have um one thing I've been using for my back. Where is it? Well, a couple things. I have here, I have my foam roller. I use this on my back, I use it on my spine and my low back, I use it everywhere. I'll use it on my thighs for my sciatica, which a lot of people who have sciatic problems don't like doing because it really hurts at first when you get on the side and you're rolling out your thighs, you're like, hey, this can't be normal, <laughs> but it is. And after a while, it feels good. So I got that, and then somewhere around here, I have this. It's a tennis ball. It's a tennis ball, sorry. I mean, ah, I'm on the floor here. Sorry, our messy living room. I'm hoping to get our living room looking kind of cute this summer, because I'm gonna be stuck inside because it's gonna be hot. Look, Philip, he's like looking. It's a tennis ball, sorry. I'm getting distracted, but it's a tennis ball, and it's inside one of those hospital socks, you know, if you're spoony and you go to the hospital a lot, you got a lot of these hanging around. And I'll use it to get, like, I use it in the sock because it's easy to move around when you're laying on it, move it and stuff. But I'll use it to get the little sore spots on my tailbone and um, my low back on, on and my sacrum and where my SI joints are. I'll use that a lot. <sighs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm all broke out. And I, I'm like, ugh, like looking at it in the viewfinder. I'll stop looking at my acne. I need to look at you. But anyway, so yeah, this is my tennis ball that Philip is focused on. And it's got those little, like, you know how tennis balls, when they get heated up and then the plastic will break off inside and then they make this, like, rattling noise? Yeah, Philip's fascinated. He's so cute. Yeah, so. Yeah, and I use that, and then I use it to get the knots in my shoulders out, too, so that helps. Um, yeah, tennis ball and a sock. Tip of the day to you. If you have sore spots in your back, get a tennis ball. Put it in a sock. You move it around. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's a little tense at first, but it works. Ooh, my phone lit up. Let's see. Eh. Oh. I'm bored. Yeah, so we're just sitting here. I'm gonna sit here, try to get a handle on my pain so I can, I really, really wanna get my video up and get some editing done, cause like, there's always editing to be done, so. Yeah, yeah, just typical Friday afternoon, waiting for everybody to get home. Yeah, it's Friday. I ain't got no job. And we ain't got any spoons. Yeah, okay, so everybody's home. Patrick's home. Shout out that you're here so they know you're alive. Yo! <laughs> Say hi! Say hi! Yeah, so we're just hanging out. It's another hey, cool Friday night here. Um, watching. Oh, well, we got the NBA playoffs. NBA playoffs on right now, which. Six, yeah, exciting. We had Chinese food for dinner. It's actually pretty good. It was like a new place by us. It was pretty good. I got, um, I forget the name of it, but it was like, uh, like a dough ball and it had like barbecue pork inside. It was real good. And then Patrick, would you get something? I got a chicken, uh, one pound chicken soup thing. Yeah, he got that, that. So yeah, we're just chilling, hanging out. Just wanted to update you, not leave you hanging. Is my voice out yeah. that you haven't killed me yet? Maybe. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday. I know this is turning into a weekend vlog, yay! So yeah, I'm just, you know, put my bun on. So yesterday, yesterday, I, I, I actually did get out of the house yesterday. I wasn't so lazy. Um, I got up er, and I felt kind of good. So I went with my mom to Old Navy. We're always on the quest, me and my mom, for the perfect like yoga pant, like workout pant. So we went and I got three pairs. I actually found some really cute ones. I got a pink pair 
and uh, which I'm wearing today. They're so cute. I don't know if you can kind of see them, but yeah, yeah, kind of see them. Um, I got some B-roll to show you, and then I got a blue pair that has like these really cute like little flowers on it, and then I got one that was more like tropical, like oasis, jungly, um, you know, that like Beverly Hills print that everybody loves. I got that. And then, um, what else did I do? Yesterday, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick's here. So, yo, yo. yo. So, Patrick went to hang out and had guys day. He went and played games. He plays like this. What do you guys, what do you play? It's like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. Warhammer Fantasy. Warhammer. Yeah, he plays that. I don't quite understand, but whatever. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. You know, so, um. While he did that, I did. I stayed home with my mom. You know, like we went shopping and then we came home. I took a nap. <laughs> I, I passed out and took a nap for a while. And then when I woke up, I did like a home facial, which I, I want to get back into doing beauty and soul. And I think when I do beauty and soul next time, we'll do like a home facial. But I did a home facial where I used my, I really love that black charcoal mask. Well, first I, I like to exfoliate with baking soda and I just put it in with my cleanser. We're looking for parking right now. We're at the we're we're at the mall. We're getting a snack before we go to do some editing and some studying. But yes, yeah, side note. So yeah, my home facial. So I just use the baking soda with the cleanser, scrubbed, and then I put my black Freeman's black charcoal mask on. I love that because it doesn't like feel like it strips. Like, you know, like sometimes we use the app acne cleansing mask is it feels like it just strips your skin and it's dry and you're like yeah but the black charcoal mask I feel like it cleans my skin but without like stripping it if you know what I mean so I did that and then um I also did one of those like the peace out under eye stuff yeah I use that and um yeah that's what I did feels pretty good oh and then I finished off I use like a like a green tea facial mist use my fan yeah so that's what I did last night basically I just hung out did a home facial hung out with my cats and my mom so yeah so yeah now we're out today we're being productive we're trying. Gonna, we're trying to we're gonna go get some food so that our tummies are full so we can go to the library like old school like I used to go to the library a lot talk to you while we get out of the car I used to go to the library a lot um before I got hurt when I was in nursing school to do studying and stuff and Patrick still does that because he's still in school so I'm going with him but instead of doing school stuff because you know that's my old life um I'm doing editing so yeah but we're getting food here first at the mall so yeah I talk a lot let's go there's our mall yeah, so check this out. I don't like because this is a like a melt. Sorry, I got stuff in my mouth. I'm so rude. Okay, I don't like lettuce and tomato on like hot sandwiches because it gets wilty and it's weird. And I didn't realize that they were. So I pulled up the lettuce because I didn't realize it was coming on here. Or I would have not asked for it. And it looks like, because Patrick did the same, we have like a side salad thing going on right here. <laughs> I was like, um, it looks like we got a side salad to go with our uh, food here with You're all the lettuce. not to get a side salad. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you can kind of see my bun right there. So yeah, we're done at the library. I didn't want to vlog in there because usually there's like a lot of like homeless people or people in there who are just wanting to chill in the air and read a magazine and stuff and take a nap. And I don't want to be filming those people. And it's really quiet and I always feel real awkward. Like I went to open my monster and I always feel real awkward because it's super quiet. And like I'm taking the wrapper off and it's like shh, shh, shh. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. And I'm like, don't look at me! Yeah. So we're gonna go buy Whole Foods and see if we can find some 
dinner. We were thinking of, we love getting like salmon and putting cream cheese on top with lemon and stuff and cooking bread it crumbs. with breadcrumbs. So good. So we're going to see if we can score us some good salmon at Whole Foods so we can have some salmon with the cream cheese for dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's just a long, like how long is this vlog at this point? Yeah, yeah. This is a whole weekend vlog with Desert Mermaid. Yeah, so we're home. I already took my bra off. I'm tired, yes. So, yeah made the salmon it looks good i'm gonna show you on patrick's plate we use paper plates because well it's easier for me as a spoonie to not have to do dishes all the time so we supplement with paper plates sometimes if you ever wanted me to talk about spoonie hacks that i use let me know down in the comments but anyway so salmon with cream cheese we got box mashed potatoes because Yummy. that was the only all they had were these instant mashed potatoes but yeah we got that and then the dog root beer i was talking about so yes so yeah i'm gonna be hooking myself up a plate of that but i wanted to update you tonight any day fiance comes back i know i know right 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 okay i'm excited because I stopped watching after the season before the one that just ended right now because um, I was really tired with all the like um, Ricky, the Ricky shit. We're watching 90 Day Fiance again because the family Chantel is going to be there and um, who else? Nicole and Azan. Those are, I love, I love the Nicole saga. That's what, uh, the saga because like girl girl he don't want to be with you <laughs> so i'm gonna eat we're getting ready for 90 day fiance boop, boop. <laughs> i'm like looking at myself in the viewfinder and i'm like i look like a mess yeah we're not making it through um 90 day fiance thank goodness for dvr I'm gonna go to bed, so I think I'm gonna end my vlog here. But um, thank you for hanging out with me this entire weekend. This is probably really, really, really long at this point, but that's okay. I like hanging out with you guys, so. As always, I'm sending lots of Happy Mermaid vibes and all my love to all the haters and the lovers, because as we know, we all need love to survive. I love you, and I'll see you at my next Desert Mermaid adventure. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.